Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, and uh, I'm going to actually try to do a couple of different more broadcasts later tonight uh, for you guys uh, here on Israeli News Live. But unfortunately, I want to do this one to where it can be uploaded directly on our YouTube channel. Uh, I am going to be disclosing some information, though, that is very pertinent information that you need to know about that cannot be directly here. It'll be on iConnect, um, and I'll also probably load that on Brand New Tube Israeli News Live as well. Just so you know, let me pull up Brand New Tube so you are aware, because many of you did subscribe to Brand New Tube uh, on our channel there. Uh, and so you're aware that we do upload there. And I'm only doing that for the sake of those that are having trouble with iConnect. It's a handful of people. It's really not as many as you would suspect. So those of you that are having trouble don't realize that it's kind of like a minority. Generally speaking, uh, those are people that are, that are having trouble with uh, iConnect is you're using smart devices and there is an update in your smart device that you've got to do your update on. This is why you're having trouble with iConnect. It's nothing inside of iConnect that's causing the problem. Um, but anyway, Brand New Tube Israeli News Live. This is the link there. BrandNewTube.com forward slash at Israeli News Live is that channel there. I've uploaded some very sensitive things there that you can actually see there. All right, even interviews and things of that nature there. But uh, even though there's almost 16,000 subscribed, not many people are aware that we're uploading there as well. So I am trying to put some videos there for those of you that do have trouble. iConnect is important for us because we can translate in multiple languages. We're at about five languages now. We streamed it down to five languages because these are the best languages that are the most accurate. That's why there's not as many of the other ones available. Okay, we are doing a major disclosure over on our Patreon channel uh, on fallen angels, aliens, etc., whatever you want to call them. Uh, I am going to do a teaching as in depth as I possibly can get on this, but on this particular video here, it's about the grays and their biological makeup, how they're really made, what they are. You will not find this anywhere on the internet going into this type of detail. I'm sharing with you directly out of uh, meetings, directly out of the Pentagon, uh, and you get to see what these, uh, well, they're actually considered to be, uh, oh, how do you call it? Uh, they're, they're, oh gosh, I forget the terminology that, that was used in that, but it's on there. You can actually see this and see that. So those that are on Patreon get to see it. These are not critical things. doesn't really matter, but for those that have curious minds about things, we're trying to share it deeper on that. And I'm going to be going to the Dulce. Uh, the the uh, secret base in Dulce is going to be my next uh, disclosure one that I'm going to be speaking about. Some of that will be information that's already public, but on that video there, that's not public. So it was very insightful for me to get that. So I, I really enjoyed doing that video. It's not very long, about 13, 14 minutes, something like that. Uh, listen, there is a very serious issue going on. This was an Iranian P threat that came out and something that I wanted you to be a little bit aware of. It's like a 30 page document. One of the things here, it says several senior Reagan and Clinton administration national security officials warned in 2015 and again in 2021, regardless of intelligence uncertainties and unknowns about Iran's nuclear weapons and missiles program, we know enough to know to, or to make a prudent judgment that Iran should be regarded by national security de decision makers as a nuclear missile state capable of posing an existential threat to the United States and its allies. Now, although they go into this 35-page this, this report, uh, they do say that Iran does not have the capabilities for re-entry back into Earth's atmosphere to be able to deliver a, 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 a missile to the United States. One of the things they do point out, though, is that they do have the, the ability to, to bring about an EMP threat. Uh, let's see right here. An official Iranian military textbook endorses nuclear HEMP attack against the United States, as well as deception me measures to conceal nuclear weapons in violation of international agreements. Uh, Iran has demonstrated uh, sophisticated cruise missiles and drones using over 20 to make highly precision and coordinate attacks on Saudi Arabia oil processing facilities in September 14, 2019. Such delivery vehicles could easily be armed with non-nuclear EMP warheads. 
So we have a real EMP threat from Iran. Uh, and that's something that I've been told before. So I wanted to share this with you. Uh, and um, what else? Would I, there's, oh, yeah, the other thing I can't share on this particular broadcast. Um, because the tensions that are going on right now are all New World Order moves. Uh, and always keep in mind, even with Russia, Putin, he's just carrying out New World Order agenda. Let's face it. Right? He's playing along. I, I know I get some intel that, that, that's kind of like sketchy on that, but he's playing along. Let's, let's just face the facts. There's no way to get around that. Um, anyway, though, uh, again, I'll update you guys later this evening uh, about these things. IsraeliNewsLive.org, our website. We want to thank you, those for the use that do support the broadcast here. The EMP Shield, because of that report there from Iran, and I had been told this already, that Iran was our greatest threat for an EMP strike on the nation, uh, so it only confirms what I've been told. I just haven't really shared that information with you, what I was told about on that yet, uh, because I was trying to find a way to really be able to um, justify the information, not just give you something that's intel and then, then suggest to you to get an EMP shield to protect yourself, your house or your car, whatever the case may be. Um, I know I hear John Moore say a lot, you know, get an EMP shield for, shield for your grandchildren, for their cars, for their sake, for it to help them to get home in a time of emergency. Uh, and that's a very good point. I, I think that is a very good point uh, to do that. And, you know, you can get it for your vehicle. You know, they got it for everything. But when you order it th using the INL code, uh, you know, it's $389. But if you go to your, once you go to check out with your car, and it doesn't matter how many devices you buy, if you buy one, or if you buy three different devices, they're going to give you a $50 discount every time. All you got to do is apply INL50. It's right there. See that right there? INL50. Apply that coupon, and they're going to adjust your price down $50. Uh, and, and again, they, they give us a, a small percentage as well. Uh, so it's a way to help support the ministry, but at the same time doing something good for your family. Uh, so when you go to the checkout, you'll automatically get that discount. So just wanted to make sure I reminded you of that. Um, and then, like I said, this evening, there, there is a lot of things that I've been in meetings about that I'm wanting to share. Some of that's going to be on Patreon. Some of it I need to, I've really got to go through that information because I want to bring it here to you. We'll be going into the situation with Ukraine. Uh, there is a very real possibility of war between NATO and Russia. Uh, the generals are really... They're biting at the bit to start a war with Russia. Uh, so I, I'm very concerned about the things that I'm hearing, and I need to get that information to you. So uh, be sure to, to tune in later this evening. And uh, again, we thank you for your support for the ministry, and God bless you. And hopefully tonight, though, because I'm trying to prioritize things. The things in Russia is one thing, but the things that are coming upon this earth, as it says in the book of Luke, that will cause man's heart to fail for fear. I really need to take that deep on a biblical level because so many biblical teachers think this is some kind of fairy tale. It's not a fairy tale. There are a lot of things I think that are allegoric in the scripture, like the, the, the demons that are bound in the Euphrates River. And I believe I know some of the answers to that. So I want to share that with you because I want your spiritual house to be in order. You know, that we don't have to fear. As Jesus says, do not fear him that can kill the body, but afterwards, okay? But he said, fear him that can kill both soul and body. Now, a lot of times people think he's talking about the father, your heavenly father is not interested in killing your, your soul. All right? Um, <laughs> but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss that. I know that can be controversial, uh, that statement there, because I realized that your sins could, could get you into a situation to where, yeah, you, you, you know, because he talks about your soul, you know, the soul be destroyed in Gehenna. Um, but was he talking about the Father? Because the Father, the Scripture says he's long-suffering. He's not willing that any should perish. This is why I kind of wonder, what did Jesus really mean by that? So like I said, it's controversial to make that statement. But at the same time, if the Father is long-suffering, not that any should perish, 
then are we misunderstanding what was said? I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, it's just it's food for thought. Uh, I'm not interested in adding or taking away from the Word of God by no means, but only saying what God said. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening and have a great day.